Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in the Scott County Courthouse in Indiana, where we find the uh, elevator boy and uh, his girlfriend as they attempt to file some lawsuits on, about defamation and slander and everything like that. But you know what? It doesn't exactly go according to plan. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Uh, for public safety and official misconduct, but today we are Chris Ryder and Tiffany Napier because this is in regards to a very personal situation that we have been uh, dealing with for years. Uh, for me, as long as I've known Tiffany, and for her, as long as she knew her ex-husband 15 years ago. Um, we do not enjoy having to publish this as a story for the channel, um, but this is a victim's rights channel, and unfortunately, we are victims in this matter, and it is very personal. <laughs> Victims' Rights Channel? Uh, yeah, okay, whatever. The only people I ever see on your channel are the two of you. You're not advocating for anybody else. In fact, you're creating more victims because of how abusive you are toward everybody that you encounter. So, you need to, uh... Do yourself a favor and go back to calling yourself a First Amendment auditor channel because that fits you more. But, um, yeah, so we're at the Scott County Courthouse in Scottsburg, Indiana, because it is the jurisdiction. Currently, in this portion of the video, we are filing civil action, but it is also uh, multiple felony criminal action which will be done over at the Sheriff's Department right after this portion of the video. Yeah, go ahead and file your frivolous lawsuits, and let's see how far you can actually get with them. My guess is that uh, you will be about as successful as Jose Maria Chile de Castro, a.k.a. Delete Laws. I mean, that would be a sight to behold if he even won a single one that, well, was any, of any importance. Well, I need to file an appearance for a um, civil case. Okay. Um, Defamation. Is case is already filed? It is not. Okay. Um, what kind of a civil matter? Are you wanting to do like a small claims? Defamation. Well, it's going to be defamation, slander. So I think okay. that would be small claims. Okay. Have. Well, yeah, and then I have a question. Um, were the victims in the same matter? Should I be filing my own? Even though, like, it's separate, or can I do it under her? Um, are you all married? Yeah. No. No, so you... We're a like, couple. We live together. Right. You would probably have to do your own. Okay, you're going to have to file this lawsuit separately from each other. So that's going to probably be a higher fee, because now you're paying for double charges. So, well, I hope you got the money for that. I've never heard processed a slander charge. I'm not sure if they would go in as small claims. Is that okay. Uh, they think it's going to be a miscellaneous case, um, but those, it would be 157 to file. Okay, well, let's get it going. Well, uh, Chrissy, there's a eatsy weensy teeny tiny little problem with what you're trying to do here. Uh, you really should be filing in the state that your uh, subject lives in. If not, this isn't going to work out too well for you. I apparently don't think we're going to need two if I can't be on her case. Yes. Yeah. Now, I've already been here before against this same thing. Like and I didn't have the hundred and fifty seven dollars that day. And she she gave me the form right here at this window for filing the court hearing. I just didn't have the hundred and fifty seven dollars. Um I don't know who would have given you that, but they came from this window. I, so I was just informing you in case maybe you might ask around because there is a form I mean, based on that, there's just a form right here for you somewhere that you're supposed to just fill out. The indigent paperwork? No. Not well, that portion of it. It was for the... Well, that's what she's going over to check on. But okay. I think that they do have a way to get you the paperwork if 
Well, the form to fill out to yes. file the case. Uh, did you come here without any money uh, to file a lawsuit? Well, my dude, uh, that is not too bright on your part if that is the case. But let's go ahead and carry on because I sense that this is going to get uh, much better. Yeah, we understand all that really well. But here's the thing. We just want to get it filed right now. You know what I'm saying? Right, but I well, can't give you the papers to file it. They I did give have, me the form before. I don't here. have the access, and they did. But she don't have a printer. Can she use your printer to print it out when she pulls it up? Unfortunately. Not. Wait a minute. Hold on. Wait. Well, okay. Look, I'm I'm gonna back. try to stay calm. I'm gonna try not to take anything out on you. But I'm gonna tell you this: we have the right to legal system. Right. We have the right to file a case in this building today. Yes. You guys have to provide the resources that are available so a person can drive here from wherever they're coming from and get the case filed at this window today. So I'm not I'm not trying to argue with right. you in that we are responsible for knowing our own legal process. We right. know we know I that. And it's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for them. But and you have to print the, the form. Papers, we just can't provide those. And they have stopped doing that since 2017. They well, they're going to start again today because I need it now. I cannot do that. You have to do that. You got a supervisor? Ma'am, we just need the form printed out for a defamation case to file right now. So we give, we cannot print, we cannot give legal advice? I don't want legal advice. I want you to print me the form so I can file it with this clerk right now at this window. I drove here an hour. I want to so file it now. We cannot print forms because that is handing you legal advice. No, it is not. I don't need your advice. I need the form. I know what I'm doing. I am pro saying this case. Oh, you're going pro se. Uh, well, you know the old saying, a man who represents himself in a court of law has a fool for a client. And dude, you're going to be the biggest fool out in that courtroom because that uh, other attorney is going to wipe the floor with your arguments. You don't stand a chance. Under, I need the form. It's under clerical duties as far as what your position is. And that this is not shouldn't be an argument. Advice. Just that pull it up, up, print the, the form, hand it to me. I'll pay the 10 cents for a black and white copy. Just get me the form. A lot of people believe that that is giving legal advice, but it is not actually, in fact, giving legal advice. It is fulfilling your clerical duties. Yes, you, you can to direct us to websites. You can print us forms. That is actually the duty of the clerk is to give us the forms when we ask for it. I'm not trying to be upset with you, but I'm telling you right now, our kids, our life, herself, we're victims. The defamation suits are for that purpose. We are here because it needs to be done yesterday. Dude, you really need to seek out the advice of an actual attorney rather than going pro se because you are way out of your league here. And it is clear that you have no idea what you're doing here. And that is only frustrating yourself because, well, if you don't know how to deal with it, then you're only going to get frustrated from this point on. Further frustrated, that is. So keep it up. You, that, I'm sure you'll win with that amount of frustration. I don't have time to play games with who does what. You know what I'm saying? I know the process. We are ordered by the courts. What court? The courts upstairs. What court? Would it be Marsha Hauser? So our courts say that what we have to do mm -hmm. is give you this. Yeah. You have to print out your forms and then come back to us and file them. That is not under Indiana open records access laws and I do not want to have to argue with you, but I'm right Indiana open record access laws means if I ask you for a form that is on the Indiana.gov website That is available to the public at this clerk's window. You have to print it and give it to me, man What do you know what form you need? Yes, the defamation lawsuit form. Oh, yeah, sure I you know absolutely everything you know everything don't you you keep saying that but you know what whenever you spew out your garbage on youtube it always gets fact checked and believe me you're not you don't have a very good record when it comes to passing the fact checks i mean this coming from a guy who thinks he knows copyright laws when most other frauditors have figured out what it is and try to use it sparingly, unlike Chile de Castro. I think that's the road you're heading down right now is Chile's road of complete moronic ignorance. I need, I I need, an, indigent, I need an indigent waiver form for and? myself 
but we do not have those forms in our office. Those are you the have the internet and a printer. That's what you do here. Your clerks. Why are we arguing this, ma'am? Just come on, print the damn form. We got to make this file. You're not allowed to print forms. You're wrong. I You're wrong. Them. The clerk's window has to. You even charged ten I'm cents here. In a kind voice to you. I don't care what your voice is. The matter is still the same. It's still an issue. Oh, you're going to hit a fucking emergency button? Well, Mr. Smarty Pants, since you'd obviously think you know everything and refuse to leave because you think they're wrong, well, I'm sure they're about to teach you how wrong you truly are. So good luck with that. I just requested the sheriff's assistance in this matter. So? So you just hit an emergency button? What's wrong with you? What's your name? I'm not going to cuss at you. You're not going to cuss Tell me your name. I'm not going to cuss at you. Tell me your name and position. My name is Michelle Shelton. Michelle what? Michelle Shelton. Shelton? Mm -hmm. And your position here is? I am the county clerk. County clerk? Yes. I'm not going to Wow. You. How does the county clerk herself I am not, not gonna know you. that you have to print forms upon request? And you're not going to cuss at me. I will cuss. It's my First Amendment freedom. Your government. When you get off the clock, you can ask me not to cuss. But while you're on the clock, I'm free speech. And I wouldn't have cussed if you wouldn't be denying us an imperative for our safety. Well, you're right. You could cuss all you want, but actions have consequences. And as a result of your actions, these people don't want to work with you. So why don't you make like a tree and leave? I'm not impairing you of anything. You are. You are keeping me from being able to do my filing right now. All I want is the form. That's your duty as the clerk. Let me call the judge. How about you look it up online? Let me call the judge. Call the judge. Call Marsha. Call the judge who told us. Call Marsha. She'll tell you what she knows about me being right. Yes, please request of Marsha Hauser that we do not visit. Actually, Marsha's been recused. Marsha's been recused from anything involving me and her. No, I'm no. not asking for a record. I'm asking for a form. It still falls under a record. You're not asking for forms. You're asking for I'm asking for the form. We don't want you to We do want the form. Hey, look, let me be clear. I want the form. We don't want you to fill the form, form out for us. Give me the form. Well, now, he doesn't exactly get what he wants here, so he goes over to the sheriff's department and gets a form, but not the form he originally wanted. So let's go ahead and see what he has to say about that little issue. All right. Um, so that's what a sheriff's department is supposed to be like, guys. I got He printed out what the court clerk was supposed to print out, but apparently they don't have a pro se form, which is huge no-no, because they have to have a pro se form for uh, civil cases, because you're allowed, you have a right to act as your own attorney in any matter. So uh, not having that form for you is a big fuck up. This form is the same thing, but for attorneys, we're just gonna scratch out the attorney part and put pro se. Same thing, all you're doing is communicating with the judge, telling them, hey, I need a court case open. That's it. That's all this is. Then we'll be doing the EPOs next. Well, dude, uh, yeah, uh, I don't see you winning this case anyway, as stupid as you are when it comes to the actual laws. But hey, if you want to act as your own attorney going pro se, then that's your prerogative. But I'm sure the uh, defense attorney will just uh, wipe the floor with your sorry ass arguments if they're here in the moon and back. At any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.